This program has been made possible in part by Interweave, the handmade life. Your craft community for books, magazines, videos, patterns, events, and more. On the web at interweavestore.com. I've got a couple of really fun ways to add flair to your knitting. Both loops and looped fringes that can be made right as you're knitting. So no, no finishing to do afterwards. The first technique is loops that are made on the wrong side of the work. Now I'm on the right side right now, so I'll knit a bit. And then now we're on the wrong side of the work. We're working on a garter stitch base. And what we're going to do, this is actually one of the rare techniques where I prefer to knit with the yarn in my right hand, just because there's so much action happening with the left hand. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to insert the right needle as if to knit. We're going to hold our index finger right up against that needle and wrap the yarn around it. And then in between the needles, hook it with the right needle and pull it through. So we've basically made a knit stitch, but with the yarn wrapped around the index finger in the back. I'm going to place that stitch onto the left hand needle. Notice that I gave it, I repositioned it as I did so. And then we're going to knit those two stitches together. So again, so again, that's insert the needle, wrap around your finger and the needle, pull the yarn through, place it back onto the left hand needle and knit the original stitch and that stitch together and make sure that things are locked a little bit as you're working. Then you would work as many rows as you like and then work another loopy row which gives you this great fringy kind of effect. Now the next technique that I have for you is the same thing except you're working the fringes on the right side, on the correct side and I'm just setting myself up here. So this technique you can work with the yarn in either hand, whichever one is more comfortable to you. So what we're going to do is I've knitted a stitch. I'm going to bring the yarn to the front. I'm going to use my right thumb this time to grab a loop of the yarn. Oops. And then it's the same kind of thing. We'll knit, put it back on the left hand needle, and knit the two stitches together which locks that loop in place. The only difference between these two methods is that with this method you make these loops in between stitches and with the other method you make them actually within the stitches. So try either one of these to add a little bit of flair to your knitting.